We're Brett and Ryan, and this week on Rangers, we're swimming with the jellyfish. We are getting ready to go on the Sahotan Cove tour. The tour that we're going on is probably one of the most expensive tours on Shergal, but we go a little bit further and we stop a lot of places, particularly to swim with the jellyfish. So the jellyfish don't sting and we're lucky enough and timed it just right by accident that it's season right now. So I'm hoping that there's like thousands of jellyfish in the water just waiting for us to swim with them. So we're here at seven o'clock, no sign of them yet. They said to be here at 6.40, but they'll be here, I'm sure. So the cost of the tour is 2,800 pesos per person. That includes all fees, all permits, includes lunch, doesn't cover a tip for the driver, but it's all inclusive for everything else. The meeting point for this tour is at the pier here in General Luna. Pickup is included, but drop off is not included. So they're gonna just leave us here and then we'd have to pay for a taxi to get back. It makes more sense to just bring your bike here, park it up, get back after the end of the trip. I asked for the name of the tour guide last night and I didn't get it. And then I sent them a selfie that I was here. And uh, she's like, oh yeah, did you find Kia Romeo? And I'm like, no, because I didn't know who I was looking for, but now I do, so I'm gonna have to go and ask around. Oh, no. Nobody seems to know this guy. There is another pier in the next town over in Dapa, but this is what they sent to me, and this is where we are. So we're at the pier in General Luna. We were about to leave and forget about the whole trip when the tour guide finally showed up at 8 a.m., an hour and a half after we were told to meet them. So where do you leave us at the end of the tour? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> so their boat is leaving out of the other port but they didn't tell us that. They told us to come here. And then at the end, they're saying that they're gonna drop us back here. So far, this is starting with everything I hate about tours. But the problem with wanting to do this, there's some things you can only do through a tour, and this is one of those things. So now we had a 35 minute ride in the jeepney to Dapa, so we could get on the boat. Oh, I'm high from the, the fumes. Oh. Going on a little boat, it looks like. Good thing I brought the motion sickness tablets, just in case as a precaution to leave without them ever. I just <laughs> ever. It's 5,600. I'm gonna give this to you. Do you ever lose anyone off the side? We're on a boat, we're on a boat. The weather is not that bad. But it's moment to moment. So. The guide told us it was going to be a two-hour boat ride from Dapa to Sahotan Cove. It felt great to finally get underway, until they started the engine. This thing had no exhaust or muffler of any kind, and let me tell you, it was loud. That's the soundtrack for the next two hours. I just hope it's the soundtrack. Yeah, it's not the sound of silence, so growing. <laughs> we settled in for the two-hour journey, trying to drown out the sound of the engine and not think about the hearing damage. Seriously, if you're planning on doing this tour, bring some earplugs for the boat ride. Other than the noise, the ride was quite enjoyable. We passed through some of the mangrove forests that Shirgao is named after, saw some pretty remote villages, and even passed this cool pirate ship looking boat. We left out Adapa port and sailed south down the eastern side of Bucas Grande to the very bottom, which is where the jellyfish are located in Sohoten Cove National Park. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything either. <laughs> yeah, me too. What? <laughs> My ears are ringing. The Jellyfish Lagoon and all the other activities are located within Sahotan Cove National Park, and all visitors are required to check in at the ranger station, which is where we were. One set of like mask and snorkel, and we just went ahead and rented another one. It's two hundred. It's like four dollars. So now we both are set. The park rangers then gave us a safety briefing and also a little information about the area and the jellyfish. 
They also explained that the boats we came in on are much too big to get through the entrance to the park and we would have to swap to smaller boats here. Oh, thank you. Looking good. Good. We're on. It's a short five minute boat ride into Sahotan Cove from the ranger station. And we quickly found out why we couldn't bring the big boat. We're going in the cave. Oh, we're gonna have to duck down. We're gonna have to duck down. Oh, bats. Bats. Freaking bats. I love bats. The first stop was Hagukan Cave, and we were told we had to swim underwater to get inside the cave. First activity, the name of the first activity is Hagukan Cove. So this time, you submerged in eight seconds before to... Oh, that's the hole? That's big, but... This underwater. Yeah. Okay, the water's high. Ah. Warm water coming up. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. I'm excited. Me too. Oh, he takes you in. You gotta get down deep, huh? To get it? Okay. Okay. This cave is also known as the Luminous Cave because the only light in there is shining in through the underwater entrance and appears to light up the whole water inside. In these lagoons the water is brackish which is a mix of fresh and salt water. The different waters form two distinct layers. The strange thing is the top layer of water is cold, salty and hazy to see through due to the high salinity. About five feet down under this layer is water which is much warmer and crystal clear due to less salt content. This was our first time experiencing a halocline and it was a lot of fun diving down and seeing the water suddenly get warm and clear. You want to go first since I went first in? The next stop was Magkakope Cave. Oh that, hole. oh, that hole. Okay. This cave we had to swim <laughs> under the rocks with just enough room to breathe to get inside. My big head's getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> And then we had to swim through a completely underwater crevice. And the guide left me by myself in the pitch black to go back and get Brit. Where's Brit? It's okay? Yep. Yeah. He made it. 
They just grabbed me like a princess. <laughs> we had to climb up to the top of the cave through a small passage where we would finally see daylight again. We emerged halfway up the cliff face looking down on the lagoon. There's a short path down to a 15 foot dive platform which capped off the caving adventure. Finally, it was time to go and swim with the jellyfish. This was what me and Britt were most excited about for the whole trip. It was a quick five minute boat ride to Tojoman Lagoon where the jellyfish live. When we arrived, we honestly thought it was the wrong place. We were expecting to see a lagoon filled to the brim with jellyfish. Instead of thousands of jellyfish filling the lagoon, there were only about 10 in total, which is really disappointing. But still, it was fun to swim around in the beautiful blue waters and get an up-close look at a couple of jellies without worrying about getting stung. This particular breed of jellyfish is called spotted jellies. Calling them stingless isn't correct. They do sting but they're designed to eat plankton and their stings aren't strong enough to have any effect on most humans, unless particularly vulnerable or allergic. Tojaman Lagoon is a rare, perfect breeding ground for the jellies. The ocean currents and wind push the jellies deep into the lagoon and because they don't have brains, they cannot navigate their way back out through the labyrinth of channels to the sea. The extra briny layer of water in the lagoons also dissuades any predators from entering to feast on the jellyfish. Having so many jellies in close proximity helps with reproduction and the cycle repeats itself every year. After about 30 minutes in the lagoon, it was time to get back to the ranger station. I loved it. That was so much fun. It was really cool. So usually I'm not like a caves gal. If you watch, you know, you know, but you could swim in the caves. It's the same as my precursor for waterfalls. Waterfalls and caves apparently have the same. Uh... Yeah, and you have to swim under to get in. It's cool. Like yeah, it's it like. Cool. 15 feet on the first one where you gotta like dive under. They grab you by the head and make sure you don't smack your head on nothing. And then the second cave, you're climbing up, up through the back, swimming underneath the, again, under, under the water. And jumping off. And then jumping off at the end. That's really cool. Yeah. And then the final thing was the jellyfish, jellyfish. which was really fun. The, there wasn't now, many. There wasn't many. There the was only- The internet's all... a liar. Yeah, it says this is the start of the season. They're saying here that April's the season. There was still saw a few. We still, saw we like saw 10. Yeah, and they were cute. And they were and they small were fun. and they were in between and yeah. To but be, like, to be honest with you, that's probably not that bad because if there was hundreds of them, you can't help but touch them all. Like, you know, when you're in there, like the, you know, you don't want to be disturbing. They did keep telling us to touch them. And I'm like, right, don't touch them. We, you don't touch wildlife. Like that's the first rule. Yeah. And they're like, touch them. They're slimy, touch them. And we're like, no, we don't want to touch them, but thank you. I think it might have been a little overwhelming too if there were like thousands of them. Yeah, you'd feel claustrophobic or something. But it does make for like really cool thing to do and it does make for really cool pictures with a lot of them. But it was still really cool. I've never like de I deliberately it. swam with the jellyfish before, have yeah. you? No, yeah. usually I go out of my way to swim to stay away, away from, from them. them. Now it's time to feed us. It was time to get back onto our big loud boat and head to the lunch spot. Thankfully, it was only about 10 minutes from the ranger station. I'm ready for lunch. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Might be able to take the drone up again. A turtle. Turtle? It's just carving. Oh, yeah. Cool. This place is really cool. One thing about the tours in the Philippines, their lunches are incredible. Nowhere else does as impressive of a spread and makes it into such a work of art. Seafood, meat, noodles, rice, whole grill, fish, and fresh fruit. I almost felt guilty making a plate because it looks so good. The spread didn't disappoint. But you gotta get in there. I'm like not aggressive enough for it. No, you're gonna move. You can't be waiting around. Everyone's gonna... Yeah, but there's enough food to go around and everything's really good. Mm -hmm. Chicken, fish, shrimp, noodles, rice. Everything. Everything. After lunch, we had the opportunity to hang out and admire the beautiful lagoons and surrounding lush green hills. There was also a diving board and a rope swing, which were a lot of fun. Ooh, that's slippy. That's slippy. 
Today was fun. I would stay at this place. So we stopped at this place for lunch, but I'm pretty sure you can stay here. They have a diving board. They have a dragon slide. They got a swing, a rope swing. I don't know how you get here, and I don't know how you go about staying here. I'm pretty sure you can, because I'm pretty sure we're like outside one of the rooms right now. There's just like a diving board, just like in. It's so cool. Hold on. That's how you go to breakfast. Like, what? Yes, please. It was time to head back to Shirgao. On the way back, we stopped at a picturesque resort with a maroon wreck, but we were both too tired to go exploring. We also passed some villages where the houses were built out on stilts into the ocean, which was really cool to see. We were both so tired that we managed to fall asleep for the rest of the way, despite the really loud engine. Yeah, the Jeepney is here. And I'm ready for a hot shower. That's what I'm ready for. It wasn't like super touristy. Like we were swimming around and we were just like, it was us and one other boat. There, yeah, but total there were three boats, 16 people. That's it. It was good. That's it. Yeah, that's cool. And now we have like 40 minutes. I'm so glad the Jeepney's here. I really wasn't sure if they were going to drive us back to General Luna. Thanks for joining us this weekend, Rangeless in the Sahotan Cove. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs> so you can join us on all of our adventures.